me welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be sharing a highly requested recipe with you guys we're gonna be cooking up my creamy lemon garlic pasta I shared this recipe over on Instagram stories last week and so many of you guys messaged me asking for all the details the exact measurements of how to cook this meal and I promise you guys as soon as I perfected the recipe got all the measurements I would share it on my YouTube channel so that is what I'm doing this recipe is so good if you guys love lemon garlic if you love shrimp you will love this recipe you can also make this vegetarian and skip out on the shrimp but I love shrimp in this dish. You guys got to try it this way. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Consider hitting that subscribe button and let's get started. All right, so here's everything you're going to need for the recipe. It doesn't call for too much ingredients. So you just need a pound of some shrimp. You need some applewood bacon. You can use really any bacon you have. I like the applewood, it is so flavorful. You need two bags of spinach. You need some salt some pepper and some red pepper flakes, two lemons, some garlic, and then also some Parmesan cheese. I usually like to grate my own Parmesan cheese, but they didn't have that at my grocery store, so I just got the one that's already done for you. But if you can find the one that you can grate, it gets so much more flavor. And then just some spaghetti um, noodles, and that is pretty much everything this recipe calls for. I also wanted to share with you the toast that we're going to be using. I love this New York toast. I make sure to get the garlic one. It is so good, or you can make your own as well. So to get this recipe started, go ahead and chop up your lemon. We're going to be using this a little bit later in the recipe. And now we're going to go ahead and chop up some bacon. So I use six pieces of bacon. It's like the perfect amount for this recipe. Go ahead and chop it up in small bite-sized pieces. I will say that it is a lot easier to cut if you use kitchen scissors. I don't know why I use this knife. I use kitchen scissors every time I make this recipe. So once you have it chopped in small pieces, then you're going to go ahead and fry it up in a pot you want to get it pretty crispy not too crispy because we're going to be adding the shrimp in just a second So now we're gonna add the shrimp. The bacon cooked for about four minutes and we're going to continue to cook it together until the shrimp becomes kind of crispy and the bacon as well. One thing I forgot to do was to boil my water for the pasta. I recommend doing that first because I had to let my bacon and shrimp kind of sit to the side a little bit because it was already cooked. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on getting our toast in the oven. Did you guys see that one fly up? We're gonna be baking our toast. That takes about five minutes. And now we're gonna be finishing Finishing up our pasta dish so to finish this dish up we have the shrimp and bacon in a pot and we are adding some garlic I like to add tons of garlic it gives the recipe so much flavor and give it a really good mix now I'm adding a little bit of some olive oil and now it's time for the secret ingredient of this recipe it is fresh lemon you guys make sure you use fresh lemon it just takes this recipe to the next level. I started off using two lemons and then later on you'll see me add a third one because I wanted it to be a little bit more lemony. So I would say two to three lemons depending on the size. So the only seasonings this recipe calls for is salt, pepper, and chili flakes. I use quite a bit of salt, quite a bit of some pepper, and then chili flakes depending on how spicy you want it. I use a little bit. I don't like this dish too spicy. Now it's time to add the spinach. So I ended up using a bag and a half of spinach. I wish I would have used the full two bags like I told you guys because it wilted down so much more than I anticipated. So I should have used the two bags. I thought one and a half was gonna be perfect, but I recommend using two full bags. Then you want to reserve one cup of pasta water. That's really important. Before you drain the pasta, make sure you have one cup of that water. So I have my heat at about medium heat. And as you can see, I am just constantly tossing this around until the spinach begins to wilt. Here's where I should have added that other half of a bag of spinach. And now that the spinach is all wilted, I just toss the pasta right in there. And now it is time to get tossing. It is definitely an arm workout. So you add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of that pasta water, and then you just toss away. And then you repeat the same steps again. You add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a little little bit of that pasta water and toss and toss until all of the cheese is incorporated in the dish. So 
So if you guys watch my cooking videos, you know that I love my food very flavorful. So I wanted to add a little bit of salt and pepper and some more chili flakes since we added the noodles in there. I wanted the noodles to be well seasoned as well. And you can just see me, I'm continually tossing the pasta, making sure everything is coated with the sauce and the seasoning. Sometimes the like lemon juice and the garlic all gets caught at the bottom. So you wanna toss it really well. And I gave it a little taste test and it needed more lemon. So here's where I went in with that third lemon. So my creamy lemon garlic pasta is all done. It looks delicious. Look how good this looks, you guys. It is so creamy. Do you guys see that? Deli it just smells so good. So this is how it looks. You have to really toss it because the shrimp and the bacon's at the bottom. Look at that, you guys. Does that look delicious? So I'm gonna fix a bowl of this with a side of garlic bread. All right, let's get the garlic bread out. It's all done. How delicious. This video probably does this meal no justice. Putting it in the bowl. Make sure you get that shrimp. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful. Delicious. All right, guys, here is the finished product. Doesn't it look so good? You can also serve this with a side salad, but since I put so much spinach in it, I just have it just like this with a little piece of some garlic bread. Okay, guys, that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me cooking up my creamy lemon garlic pasta. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Join the family over on my channel. Hit that subscribe button, and I will be seeing you guys right here in a few days with a brand new video. Bye.